pre-workout, post-workout recovery session. If you wanna feel better, faster, you've gotta try this ground prep series. Hey, what's up, my friend Mike Robertson here. And today I wanna to talk to you about the ground prep series. Now, I don't know about you, but as I've gotten older, I've noticed it probably takes a little bit longer to warm up, get my body moving and feeling the way that I want, and ultimately to be able to train the way I want to each and every day. So the ground prep series is a fantastic little mini warm up that I've created and pieced together over the years that you can use either before a workout to get yourself feeling loose. You can use it after a workout to make sure your body's restored and feeling better before you walk out. Or you can even use it as a recovery session either in the evening or in between training days to make sure your body feels great. So give me just a second. I'm going to get set up and I'm going to take you through this series. All right, my friends. So this is the ground prep series. And again, I do this pre-workout, post-workout, in between on recovery days, whenever you feel like you're just a little bit stiff, sore, beat up, that's when I'd put this in, okay? So what I would start with is just an old fashioned cat camo activity, okay? So you're gonna reach long with the arms, inhale, round everything out, exhale, and reach long. Inhale. Just trying to get the spine loosened up and moving and shaking a little bit better. Okay, so again, the reps are totally up to you. Eight, 10, 12, somewhere in that range just to make sure you're loosened up, okay? So we start with that. The second activity I like to throw in is a hook line kettlebell reaching activity. So my only goal here is to get my feet flat. I wanna reach long. And then I wanna think about as I reach, nice inhale exhale, reach long, and I'm thinking about just getting a little bit of belt buckle up action. So ultimately the goal here is to get your back flat to the ground. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, reach, gently tuck. Tuck. Again, eight to 10 breaths there, but really the activity can be done whenever you feel like your back is kind of relaxed and loose. Okay, so that's the second exercise. Third, I like to do my rolling activities. And I'm gonna do a whole video on this. So there's a lot of ways you can do this, but I'll show you the most basic progression. All you're gonna do here, I try and make myself as tight top to bottom as I can. So my heels are as close to my butt as I can get them. And then here, I'm just literally rolling back and forth, okay? Goal is to make it as smooth as possible. And even though this isn't the smoothest roll, you're ever gonna see, it is a huge improvement for me over the last couple months. So you're gonna roll eight, 10, 12 reps. Then from there, I like to do a leg lowering activity. And if you'd followed my stuff for any extended period of time, you know this is one of my absolute favorite exercises in the history of ever, because it just loosens everything up. You get abs on this top leg, you're gonna get a nice stretch kind of behind the knee, loosening up gastroc, you're gonna get a lengthening of the hip flexors on that leg that's going down. So again, I'll generally go about eight to 10 each side. Big things to focus on here are flexing your quad, pulling your toes back towards your face, and trying to keep your back flat to the ground the whole time. Awesome, awesome activity. And then from there, I go into two variations of a kettlebell arm bar. Now, Paul will be very upset if I do it on that side because I will smash his microphone, so I'm not gonna do it there. But what you're gonna do here, you've probably seen a standard uh, supine arm bar where the leg is straight and this knee is up. The problem with that is I can't get my back flat to the ground. So I modify this activity very slightly. I put my knee bent, I put my foot flat on the ground and then I'm holding this position and just going through a full breath cycle. Eight to 10 breaths, making sure my back's flat, and then I come down, and then I would take it into a true kettlebell arm bar where I'm reaching long, knuckles to the sky. I can't do it because I've got my, my watch on, didn't think ahead here, but inhale, exhale, reach long, let the knee come out. Again, eight to 10 breaths, for each side on both of those activities, whenever you wanna throw it in. I mean, I do it pre-workout because I just feel really loose and ready to go, 
but I also use it on my off days in between sessions to make sure my body's fresh, it's restored, and it's ready to go the next time in the gym. So give it a shot. It's an absolutely fantastic little series, and I know you're gonna feel better if you do it on a regular basis. All right, so I hope this video helped you out, hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, make sure to smash that like button for me. If you're on the gram, go to my main page. You can subscribe and follow me there. You can also get to the robertsontrainingsystems.com website through the link there. If you're on the YouTubes, make sure to subscribe to my page. And again, if you go into the description of this video, you can find a link to my website. But thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.